guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to the alpha release of Cattails. This should look pretty familiar to you if you were around for our pre-alpha adventures, but just in case you haven't heard of this game before, we're going to be taking on the role of a feral cat living out their life in the woods. So this is still a very early build of the game, so a lot of the features are still being worked on, but I am so excited to dive back into this world and see what sort of new things have been added. Let's go ahead and start up a brand new game so we can, of course, customize our kitty just like before. We have all of these pelt colors to choose from and an absolute ton of eye colors too. Last time I actually made the cat look quite a bit similar to my real life cat Penny, so I think we'll do that again this time. We'll go ahead and play as a little Penny cat. The only difference is I actually have a, a special little skin to slap onto our kitty once we get into the game. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the world because I am far too excited to wait any longer. Oh my gosh, and we actually have a little story to follow this time too? Oh, how adorable is that? It looks like that must be us, right? And maybe we're in some sort of pet shop? Because it does seem like we're meeting our new little friend here, our new little owner, driving home to our new place. I'm a little bit concerned though because we do know that we end up in the forest later with um, the forest colony, so I would imagine this is not going to end in the happiest way for us. But so far, I mean, we are living the life. We have a cozy little bed to stay in. Oh my gosh, and we're even growing up here with our little friend. Somebody's not too happy with us though. Looks like somebody is very, very upset. What did we do? What sort of trouble did Penny Cat get into? Oh no, and they're driving us back? They're not really going to like abandon us, are they? Oh my gosh, they abandoned us by the side of the road? Poor little Penny Cat. Well, at least we know how we ended up in the forest, I guess. Maybe this time somebody from uh, the forest colony is going to swoop in and save the day? Because Penny Cat should not be out on her own like this in the rain, too. Oh my goodness, poor little Penny. Hey, what are you doing out here? <laughs> oh, no way. Oh my gosh, you look almost exactly like my Penny Cat, actually, Coco. You don't look like you're from around here. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? You can move your cat with the A, S, D, and W on the keyboard. Try it out and talk to Coco. That is too funny. You look like you could be my cat's twin. And in fact, let's go ahead and see if we can maybe change our coat to the special skin that I have. So this is the big long coat that I was given for um, our custom skin. And I will make sure that I leave it in the description of the video just in case you guys want to use it too. So you can also play as the adorable Penny Cat. Oh my goodness. I also have um, the special Kickstarter deluxe skins too, so this is what they look like, but we are definitely going to play as our little penny cat. Oh my gosh, it is too cute. We look like twins. It is very, very similar to um, the tuxedo markings in the game already, but of course she has much, much higher socks. So let's go ahead and talk to Coco, our little twin. Hmm, you say your name is Penny? That's a good name for you if you don't mind me saying. You say you were left here all by yourself, dropped off on the side of the road? How terrible. Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. Oh my gosh, so Coco's going to be like a little mentor? I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We use it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't it be too hard to locate? Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. Okay, so some golden seal. We're looking for something with a bright red berry in the middle. It's not these. These are just little bushes. I think, um, yeah, right over here. I do remember seeing these when we were playing in the pre-alpha version. So bring the golden seal back to Coco. Very, very quickly too. I'm sure you will be quite impressed. Looks like you found some golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? You'll have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Okay, so our items, let's see if we can um, hold this. I remember this is how we were giving gifts to cats before, so let's give Coco our little golden seal. Great work, you'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. You go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold to name a few. They all have their unique uses, so make sure to gather up some and try them out if you see them. 
Just remember that all of the plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested, and some plants will only grow in certain seasons. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. Very good advice, Coco, very good advice. You can eat some plants like berries and licorice root, but they don't fill you up very fast. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around first and find a mouse? They make for tasty snacks. First, sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You'll want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, mice aren't very good at spawning us cats, so you can get pretty close. Then pounce on the mouse once you're focused and ready. If you did it just right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss on your first few tries. Hunting is tricky and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. You got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck and happy hunting. Okay, what a mouthful, Coco. So we need to sneak around holding the shift key. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? That is adorable and I think I did see a mouse up there. So let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. We have to focus on him first, and once that uh, little circle fills, we should be able to pounce. Oh no, but we actually missed it. He did say that we might miss the first few tries though, so let's try again. We'll go ahead and sneak up on this mouse. I'm guessing we probably don't want to get into the circle because then we'll be too close. Yep, that is definitely too close. So third time's the charm, right? Let's see if we can get um, this mouse right here. Let's see if we can sneak up just close enough. He's like looking directly at us too. And then pounce, there we go. Third time is the charm. So bring the mouse back to Coco. I'm guessing we probably have to place it in our mouth too. So let's go ahead and hold this mouse and present our fresh kill to our brand new friend. Nicely done, you're a natural hunter, Penny. But you'll need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot further away than a mouse will, so you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. I remember last time we were trying to um, catch birds actually and they were very, very tricky, so Penny is going to um, try her best to increase her hunting skills early on. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skill and your skills panel. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mouse you just caught? You'll need to eat in order to survive in cattails. You can see how hungry your cat is on the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to zero, you'll start taking damage from starvation. It looks like you're a little hungry right now. Go ahead and eat the mouse you just caught by opening your inventory, selecting the mouse, and selecting eat from the list of options. Okay, so we certainly don't want Penny to um, start starving. I think we're actually going to have to put the mouse down though. There we go. We were holding it to him, give it to Coco, but he's being nice and letting us eat it instead. So if we eat the mouse, then we we should go all the way back up to 100% hunger. Our belly is completely full. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Penny. It could be the difference between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills? Any sort of training that cats of your upbringing go through? Our upbringing, I mean, I guess we were just a pet, right? No, not at all? Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover your ground quickly, to run away from a fight that's too big for you, or to catch up with prey that's escaping. You've learned the sprint skill. It has been added to your active skill bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can use it by either clicking the sprint icon in your active skill bar or by pressing one on your keyboard. Try it out now. Okay, so sprint, let's see how this works. Oh my gosh. Okay, talk about sprinting. That is very, very fast. Very good, Penny. You should definitely be able to catch up to any uh, escaping prey with that. Yeah, so that's how it's done. You can use sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every active skill you learn will work in a similar way, so it has like a little bit of a cool down, it sounds like. Normally, you'll have to gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip a new skill while inside your den. You'll gain experience by hunting, fighting, foraging, and even by sleeping. There's lots of skills available, such as combat skills, travel skills, support skills, and more. You can have any four active skills at a time, so you'll want to experiment with different combos and find out what works best for you. You can also use experience to upgrade your passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming. I remember that from the pre-alpha version, and I do think Penny is definitely going to have focus on the hunting aspect first. You can manage your skills in the skills panel. Remember, passive skills can be upgraded from anywhere at any time, but active skills can only be equipped or unequipped at your den. 
You should also know something else about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Oh, we know that from experience. We had quite a few uh, little cat battles before. Any cat found trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operations for protection. Often, those colonies clash. Border skirmishes or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How's about the two of us spar real quick? Oh jeez, we're going to spar with Coco now. Well, he is our mentor, I suppose. Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. Okay, so I do remember that if we press him the space bar, we can swipe with our claws. So that's what we're going to have to do as we're fighting him Coco here. Let's go ahead and dive straight into it, I guess. We might as well just spar right away. All right, a few pointers before we begin. Cats fight by pawing at each other with their claws. It takes some time to complete an attack, and during that time, you won't be able to react to my attacks. So time your attacks just right. You'll want to make use of your agility to escape my attacks. Anticipate my swipes and get out of the way before they hit. So a little bit of strategy to um, the battles, I suppose. Maybe we have to try to like get behind him while he's swiping. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking because I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Ready? Three, two, one, go attack. Okay, so let's try to catch him off guard, maybe. If we go behind him and slap him, well, actually, we do quite a bit more damage, don't we? We could probably just slap him right from here. Just keep hitting him until he goes down. I think Coco might be going a little bit more easy on us than he said he was going to. You put up a good fight, Penny. You've got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting skill and your skills panel. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your political muscle, too. Every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of the colonies, surely you want to join one? It's a great way to get started in the wild. Yeah, like we don't actually have a home yet here either, so hopefully Coco has something in mind. I know all of the three major colonies here have a spare den to give you if you'd like it. We're actually not far from the forest colony right now. I'll lead you there and help you get settled in. Okay, so we're going straight over to the forest colony just like last time, so we should know a plenty of the cats inside there. I'm sure their leader, Mayor, won't mind having a new face around town. They're good cats in the forest colony and you'll fit right in. Follow me, Penny. <laughs> right over to the forest colony right away. Oh, this is so familiar, Penny's den. Here we are, this is your new den, Penny. You'll want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use the space to store your items if you'd like. This is where we'll have to part ways, Penny. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. We may see each other again soon. You've had a busy day, why don't you get some sleep? Well, thank you very much, Coco. Um, that's quite an interesting way to leave, though. Did we actually have, like, a little spirit mentor? Okay, I was not expecting that. So Coco was kind of like our otherworldly mentor, not just a twin, but um, something from the other side, it seems. But we might as well let Penny go to sleep for now because she has had quite a day. And now we can go outside and uh, reintroduce ourselves to all of the people, all of the little cats around the forest colony. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And here's a little mare again. Oh, how cute is he? Good morning, I heard from Coco we'd be seeing a new face today. My name is Mare. I'm the leader of the forest colony. I'm here to give you a warm welcome. I hope you found your den comfortable enough. We were keeping it nice and tidy in case someone like you came around. You'll find that we're a pretty friendly bunch of cats around here. You'll want to go around and introduce yourself to everyone when you get the chance. Make sure you get to know Ember, our shopkeeper. You should also say hello to Doc, our healer. I live just behind your den on a little island in the middle of town. Come see me if you get lonely. Anyway, I'll be taking off now. Welcome to the forest colony, Penny. <laughs> oh my goodness, so we're finally here. Back in the forest colony again. So this is where Amira lives, if I remember correctly. This should be his den right back here, and we already have butterflies flying all around the place. Maybe we could um, spend the day finding gifts for everyone too. Once we meet all of the cats, we should probably see if we can find any gifts that we think they would like. But this is Ember. Hi there, have you come to check out my fine wares? Have we met before? Allow me to introduce myself. They call me Ember, and I run the store around here. I've got lots and lots of stuff for sale, so stop by if you need anything. 
Hope to see you around. Yeah, I think um, Ember did have like quite a few different things that we could buy. We need that um, currency though, those mews I think they were called. So it's not like we're going to be able to buy anything just yet, but let's just take a quick peek. He has all of these things that we can eat, some doves, some mice, some rabbits. So if we run out of food, we might want to um, talk to Ember. Then he has different herbs that we can um, heal ourselves with and an inventory expansion. Okay, add six slots to your inventory so you can carry more stuff. That's probably something worth um, saving toward in the future. We have all of these different uh, skin colors that we can choose from as well. Oh my gosh, and even accessories, sweaters and bells and scarves. Oh, how cute is that? A little nightcap too, a comfy green nightcap accessory for your cat to wear. That is too adorable. We're going to have to figure out which one Penny should wear. Maybe the scarf? Maybe that would be good for an adventurer, little adventurer Penny as she wanders around the world trying to find all of the tastiest food. And then we have Doc over here too. This is our doctor, our little healer of the colony. Hey there, how are you doing today? You know, I don't believe we've met before. Name's Doc and I looked after the sick and wounded cats around these parts. I've got herbs, medicines, and remedies for just about every kind of ailment you can think of. If you're ever feeling icky inside or out, you come and find me. I've got whatever you need to get you back in tip-top shape. Pleasure to meet you. I'll be seeing you around, I'm sure. Thank you, Doc. So I feel like we should probably bring back some sort of herb for Doc if we are going to find him a gift. That would probably be the uh, best one to bring to him. I'm sure he would appreciate it. Something to store in his uh, own den at least. Um, who are you and what do you want from me? Look, you don't know me and I don't know you, so let's get one thing straight. I'm Missy and I'm the most important cat in the forest, got it? Now leave me be, you're wasting my time. So Missy, just as cold as she was the last time too, we are definitely going to have to try to get on her good side as well. Now I believe Scout lives in this den, but last time he intended to kind of patrol the borders over here. Oh Scout, there you are, how on earth did you get behind me Scout? Okay, so let's talk to you too, and seriously, how adorable is Scout? He must be the most adorable cat in the entire colony. Colony. Huh? Did you need something? I don't think I know you. How's about we change that right now? Name's Scout. I work for Mare. Our little colony relies on my skills to make sure our borders are safe and all. It isn't a glamorous job, but hey, someone's got to do it. I think we'll probably be helping you out pretty uh, soon, Scout. I have a feeling this would be a good place for us to explore because yeah, look at this. We already have some herbs out here and I think I saw, oh, there's a little squirrel maybe? Let's see if we can hunt our very first squirrel out here. If we get just a little bit closer and pounce, there we go, our first squirrel. So we're not hungry enough to eat this just yet, but it is definitely a good thing for us to um, bring back with us to the colony, especially to uh, show it off to Mare because I'm sure he would be very impressed with our skills. Let's chase after this butterfly too. Can we swipe this down maybe? There we go, we can bring that back to somebody too. We might as well see if we can find some more though because I'm sure we are going to need um, quite a bit of food to continue exploring and this is a new type of plant oh the lavender let's see what this does it says um, you can use its strong scent to gain power for your colony in an area that's right they said something about um, increasing the influence of your colony can we actually take a look oh my gosh at this map Look at this massive place. In the pre-alpha version, I think we were limited to this area like just around the forest colony. So we have a massive, massive world to explore now. And um, it looks like three different colonies in here. The Mystic Domain maybe? The Mystic Domain and the Mountain Domain? Okay, so the blue is for the mountain and the red is for the uh, Mystic Colony. We'll have to keep that in mind because it also looks like um, these little bars might measure the influence of the colonies. I I wonder if that's the case. So just like before, the further away we get from um, all of the territory that our colony has claimed, the more likely we will be to um, get into fights with the other cats. And I wonder if maybe this is where we um, go battle with the other cats too, because they mentioned something about um, border battles. So we'll have to investigate that as well, but maybe after we get ourselves um, a little bit more situated here. And come on little guys, stop sneaking away from me. We could probably use you as a, a nice gift too. We have some more herbs here and we do actually gain 
gain um, experience points for each of the herbs that we collect, so we definitely want to focus on those, and I think this is another squirrel over here. Let's see if we'll be just as lucky the second time around. We don't want him looking straight at us when we're going to pounce, because we do know that the um, <laughs> the squirrels are a little bit easier at seeing than um, the mice were. I wonder if next time maybe we should use the sprint. If it um, tries to sneak away from us, let's use our sprint ability and see if we can catch up to it. Let's see, are there any more little squirrels down here? We'll sneak around so they won't hear us coming, maybe. That might be a good a strategy. If we're going to hunt, we better not charge blindly into all of these trees because we might miss something good. So far, though, it is very, very quiet, and I think Scout may have even uh, gone back to the colony for the day, so why don't we all, of course, of course, as soon as Penny gives up, we find a little mouse skittering away, but that's okay. We do still have a little bit of food to eat, and maybe we should actually um, munch on that right now because we are getting quite hungry and we want Penny to be nice and full. So Scout is going back to his den and Lyris. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about you, Lyris. Lyris actually lives on the uh, outskirts of the territories, so it's good to see him actually inside um, the forest colony this time. Good day to you, my Rose. Ah, like a fresh breeze in the thick of spring, so a new face brings life to my soul. We have not met before, have we? My name is Lyris. I do hope you will stop by again. It has been such a pleasure to meet one as exquisite as you. Thank you very much, Lyris. And actually, we do have a lovely little blue butterfly to um, give to one of the cats. Why don't we give it to him? It will match um, his lovely blue fur after all, so we'll give Lyris this lovely butterfly. My, my, how exquisite, how charming, what luster and shine it has. You are a gracious friend, Penny. He really seemed to enjoy that, excellent. So we have um, these little stars next to their portraits, which I'm assuming probably measures um, how much they like us. So we probably want to get that all the way up to the top. Oh, look at that, ever tried your pot painting? I bet you'd be a natural. He has something new to say to us. Alas, it is not for me. I cannot create the beautiful visuals of a master painter, but perhaps I can paint a picture with words that will manifest just as well in your mind. I am sure you could, Lyris. He seems like a very, very flowery individual. He actually lives down here with all of these um, really colorful mushrooms and flowers. I always assumed that he was a little bit more um, secluded than the other cats, so it's good to see him out and about. Now, Doc, I believe we do have some uh, herbs that we could possibly give to you. Let's see if he would enjoy it if we gave him one of these uh, fresh herbs. Hey there, how are you doing today? Give the golden seal? Oh my gosh, we have little hearts around him. I wonder if that means that it's one of like his favorite gifts? What a swell gift, Penny. You're a real partner. So we know exactly what to give Doc, and that makes sense too, because I'm sure he needs to restock all of those supplies, especially if Scout is getting into any trouble along the borders. Now, what could we maybe give to you? We don't really have many other good gifts, do we? I mean, I think the um, butterfly might go best for a Missy. And in fact, there she is. So why don't we give this a try? Oh no, I think Missy is actually going away. Wait a second, Missy. We have a gift for you. We need to get on your good side. So let's see if she likes this. Oh, she definitely does. She's given us a little um, music note this time instead of the hearts. Well, at least you have good taste. So we know what to get her. Very, very pretty things like all these butterflies flying around the forest. We might as well pick up that one too so we can save it for later. I wonder if we could actually put it inside our den. That might be a good idea, especially as it's getting so late. If we could maybe uh, drop this somewhere right inside the den, yeah, we actually can. Oh, how adorable is that? So we could save all of these little um, butterflies in here, assuming they won't go bad or disappear after a while. That way we have a place to store all of our potential gifts. But I think Penny has had a very successful first day. We've caught a little bit of extra food for her. We've given some of our um, brand new friends gifts. We're already impressing Doc with our um, skills at finding herbs out in the wild, so it's definitely a good idea to get the healer on our side, right? If we're going to be exploring this big giant world, then we definitely want somebody who will be able to unpatch our wounds. But I think in the next episode, what we'll do is uh, maybe explore these little exclamation points. I am very curious if maybe these are battles. Yeah, they are. A battle rages here. So in the next episode, let's have Penny in investigate these tiles. We'll have her prove her worth by um, battling against all of these mystic cats, I suppose it would be. It does seem like that's what would be um, trying to encroach upon this side of the territory. So we'll beat all of those mystic cats and we'll show the forest colony that we are ready to defend their borders and help provide for them in our new life as a feral cat. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!